Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to install RetroX on your NVIDIA Shield Android TV. I'm also going to show you some basic setup. First things first, you're going to need some games. I can't tell you where to get them, but if you do a quick Google search, you can find everything you'll ever need. I use a thumb drive or a flash drive, whatever you want to call it, to run my games from. You can also use an external USB hard drive. Right here, I have a 32 gigabyte USB 2.0 thumb drive, and I have a few folders inside of it. I mark my folders. NES will contain my Nintendo Entertainment System games. Sega Genesis will contain my Sega Genesis games. SNES will contain my Super Nintendo games. Now you can name these anything you'd like. It's just easy to do it this way. These are the three systems I'm going to set up in RetroX when we get there. So there's pretty much two ways to install RetroX. You can go ahead and download it on your PC and transfer it to your flash drive, but I'm going to show you how to install it on the NVIDIA Shield using a browser and a file explorer. From here, we'll go to download, and you're just going to get RetroX for Android. If you haven't purchased an activation code and you want to, go ahead and purchase an activation code, sign up, remember your username and password. Now that I have my games on my USB flash drive, I'm going to move over to the NVIDIA Shield Android TV and show you how to install RetroX. Let's move over there now. Alright, so here we are at the NVIDIA Shield. First thing we need to do is go to Settings and turn on Install Apps from Unknown Sources. We're going to scroll down to Security and Restrictions, Unknown Sources. Make sure that's checked. Click OK. We're going to back out of here. So like I mentioned, you can always download RetroX on your PC, transfer it to your USB drive, and install it that way. But I also want to show you how to install it from a browser. So we're going to go to the Google Play Store on the Shield. The very top, I'm just going to search Browser. We need to find Puffin Browser. This is the best one for the NVIDIA Shield TV. We're going to install it. We're going to back up. We also need to find a file explorer. File explorer. My main file explorer app is ES File Explorer, but RetroX does have some problems with it. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using File Commander. Go ahead and download this. Now we're going to back up. So now that we have the file explorer installed, we can go ahead and plug in our USB drive or USB hard drive, whatever you're using to run your ROMs from. If you have the pro version of the Shield, you can always store your ROMs on the 500 gigabyte internal storage. But even if I did, I would probably use an external drive just because it's easier to transfer from my PC. I'm going to plug my drive in. And we're going to click OK. From here, if you did download RetroX on your PC and place it on your USB drive, you can install it right here. We're going to scroll down to SanDisk USB drive. That's the USB drive I'm using. And at the very bottom here should be our RetroX install. You can go ahead and install it from here. If you don't have it on your USB drive, we're going to download it through the Puffin browser, Puffin TV. Go ahead and open this app. We're going to scroll down until we find Google. From here, we're just going to type in RetroX. And click Go. You can use your left joystick to act like a mouse. We're going to go to RetroX and download. Get RetroX for Android TV. Allow access. It's going to start the download. We're going to back up out of the Puffin browser. You can press your home button. Give it a little time to download. When it's done downloading, we can go back to our TV file commander or ES file explorer, whatever you chose. Find our download section. And here's RetroX. Click on it. Make sure install is highlighted at the bottom and install. You can click open. You might have to sign in if you have the paid version of RetroX. I just did that. I wanted to skip that part. It took a little while. 
And here we are. Welcome to RetroX. It seems you don't have any games added. We're going to click Add Games. From here, I'm going to click Add Games Now. I'm going to add a folder for one system. That system is going to be SNES, so I'll find Super Nintendo through here. I'm going to navigate to my USB drive. It's 29.2 gigabytes. From here, I'll find SNES. And I'm going to select this folder. It's going to scan every one of these games I have in here and add them to RetroX. Select this folder. Scan now. So now we have some games added. This is the TV interface here, but if you want to change that, you can press B on your controller. Go to Settings. We're going to go to Display Settings. User Interface. And my favorite is Phone Tablet Full Covers. It doesn't show as many on screen at one time, but it does have full covers. I'm going to change this. Retro X has to be closed in order for it to take effect. Click OK. And we're going to restart Retro X. It's going to look a little different this time. I'm going to add one more folder for my games. So I'm going to go up to the very top here to the little plus mark. Add folder for one system. I'm going to choose that system and it's going to be Sega Genesis. Go back to parent folder and I'll find my Sega Genesis folder that I added to my thumb drive. Select this folder. Scan now. And you're going to do that with every system you want to install. You can stick with the TV version if you'd like to, but I really love this setup here. Now we need to set up our controller in order to play our games. We're going to go up to the top left hand corner. Scroll down to settings. If you're still on the TV version, press B on your controller and move over to the settings tab. Go to settings. Gamepad settings. Gamepad 1. We're going to press A on our NVIDIA controller. And we're going to move left with our D-pad all the way over until we have save highlighted. Press A. Now, player one is set up. This is my NVIDIA controller. You can do that with GamePad 2, GamePad 3, GamePad 4. We're going to back up. So I want to play a Super Nintendo game. I'm going to go up to the very top here. I'm going to find Super Nintendo. You can choose it from the main menu if you'd like, but I wanted to sort through just my Super Nintendo game, so I chose that system. I'll scroll over till I find a game I want to play. I'll go with Battletoads and Double Dragon. Press A on my controller. At the very bottom, we're going to highlight play. Press A. We now need to download the emulator to run this game. Click Download. Retro X will automatically download it for us. Retro X will try to install the emulator required to run this game. Click OK. Scroll to the bottom and make sure install is highlighted. Press A again. It's going to install the multi emulator for us. Click done. And we can now play Super Nintendo. Press play again and the game will start up. So we're now playing Super Nintendo on our Nvidia Shield. It's really easy to do. Press your select and start button at the same time. It'll bring up the menu. You can save your game here. This is a cloud save, so if you move to a different device and you sign in with the same account, you'll have the save on the new device. I'm going to save here. Start and select again. If you go to load, you can load that state up. But I just want to exit here, so I'm going to go to cancel. Start and select. Quit this emulator. We're going to back up. And I'm going to try a Sega Genesis game. I'll just go with Three Ninjas Kickback. Press play. We need to download the extra package for Genesis. Press any button here. And we're now playing Sega Genesis on our NVIDIA Shield. It's really simple to do. It's really simple to do. In my opinion, this is the best front end available for Android. And specifically the NVIDIA Shield Android TV. It works really well. I'm just back out of here, start and select, quit to the main menu, and that's it for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. I'm going to leave links to RetroX down below so you can go and download it if you'd like. 
You do get a free trial, but it is a paid app. In my opinion, it's worth it. I bought it a long time ago and I use it almost every day. Like always, thanks for watching.